guys, it's Kezia, and today I'm gonna share with you 10 tips that are helping me get through high school. You know, it's a new experience. So yeah, these tips help me get through it, and without further ado, let's just, you know, get to the tips. So the first tip that I have is to make friends and to be friendly. Having friends with you throughout high school is really fun because you guys can go on trips together, you guys can go to the movies, you guys can study together. It's just nice to go through high school with people by your side because if anything that's bothering you, you can talk to them about it. You guys can just talk about teachers and how you hate their classes and the work is ridiculous or, you know, just having friends makes everything much more fun because you can be squad goals. Good. Wonderful. Number two, okay, join clubs or join sports. Um, I joined soccer in 10th grade and I did recycling club in 9th grade freshman year. I am so glad that I did those. When you join clubs and sports, you meet so many amazing people. And some people you're not gonna like, of course, because you know, there's not gonna, everyone you're not gonna like because you know, it's just life. You meet new people, you know, and if you're like my high school, like the entire school, they need community service hours and joining clubs or sports sometimes count towards the community service hours. So if you do a club or a sport, you get to earn your community service hours and it's just a good time. And you could possibly get a scholarship, you know. Scholarships are always good, free money. <laughs> Number three on my list is to study a lot and give yourself time. If you're like me, school ends at 2.40 and you get home around three o'clock and you're not ready to go back right into studying and doing your homework because give yourself an hour so from three to four you can chill watch netflix watch tv do whatever you like and then when it's four o'clock you start your homework you start studying you get the work done hopefully you get your homework done around like seven maybe earlier i don't know depending on how much homework you have and then you have the rest of the night to yourself to do whatever you want to do and you know you just feel good you didn't kill yourself you got it all done and you feel efficient and productive What's better? Number four, I would say to be organized. Being organized is very important, at least for me, because I don't like to misplace things and I keep everything in one spot. I have a desk here and I keep all of my schoolwork on my desk or in my backpack and I also have a bin in my closet that keeps some work that teachers get back to me or whatever. And I, when I need something, I know that's either in one or two places and I think that's really good because if you don't know where you put something, that's really frustrating because then you feel like you have to redo it and it's probably due tomorrow and it's probably one o'clock in the morning and it's just, it's not a good time, you know, it's not a good time. So if, you be, if you're organized, you know where all of your stuff is and you can keep track of it and if you need it again to reference it for a test or something, you know exactly where to go and exactly where it is. Number five on my list is to stay out of drama if you can. Drama is not fun, it's not something you want to get involved in, it just makes high school sometimes miserable. Of course, if it's tea girl, then get the tea because, you know, it doesn't hurt to have tea. Getting into drama just makes the situation worse, and if you get involved, it just makes more issues along the line. People won't be, won't be your friends, or, you know, it's just going to cause beef, and beef is not fun. You want to have a friendly relationship with people, you don't want people to not like you. So, um, yeah, definitely stay out of drama. It's not fun. It's, you don't need a girl. You don't need it. You don't need it. Number six on my list is to work hard. Definitely work hard. IB is killer. It really is. There's a lot of work. It's a lot of dedication. But even if you're not in IB, high school is hard. You know, it is a lot of work. New, you're adjusting. You're going through emotional changes. It's hard. But definitely keep pushing yourself because you got this. You can do it. You know, yeah, sometimes you're going to fill a test maybe once or twice, maybe more because I've been there, I've been there. But pick yourself right back up. Keep going. Try again. Do your best. Keep going. Do better the next time if you didn't do your, that well the first time. And you can only go up from there. And as long as you do your best and you put 100% effort into everything that you do, girl, it's a good, it's good. It's great, wonderful. It's probably going to benefit you in the long run, so... Yeah. Number seven on my list is to avoid distractions. Distractions can be anywhere from music, TV, your boyfriend, friends, you know, Snapchat, mine, honestly, it's Snapchat. But if it's distracting you during your homework time, I would say 
put it away or if it helps you concentrate like music helps me concentrate then do it by all means do it but if it's going to distract you and you're going to keep stopping definitely like refrain from it for a little bit until you finish the thing that you needed to get finished and once you finish it you feel like hey i finished i'm efficient i'm proactive i'm doing it Mm-hmm. yay distractions do decrease your productivity product distractions reduce your productivity and you want to increase your productivity productivity so if it's distracting you just put it away for a little bit until you finish and that way you make sure that your work that you did was completed and it was done with your full focus and your full attention so that you can get the best grade possible because we all want good grades keep that GPA up girl keep it up keep that GPA up number eight on my list is to get out of your comfort zone do something that you never thought you would do it makes high school more memorable because high school is the time to make memories there's so many new experience to experience and wow that made no sense but yeah there's so many new experiences and just throw yourself out there do something you never thought you would do because either you don't like it or you like it and if you don't like it you don't have to do it again but at least you tried you know so I just say get out of your comfort zone number nine on my list is to be nice bullying has become so popular like recently and I don't like it I don't like that people are bullying others and seeing all people that are just hurting because they're getting bullied I don't like it you know just be nice because you don't know what their family situation is like you don't know what's going on with them personally you don't know what their life is like and I just say be nice because you can make their day it makes you feel better because you feel like you're a good person and karma is real and if you're nice to somebody being nice and nice and good vibes and energy will come back to you it makes you more approachable and it makes high school fun and my last tip is to have fun girl go to the football games go to the pep rallies go to the school dances you know just do it all because high school is so short literally i was just a freshman and now i'm a junior i'm so confused i don't even know where the time went it's gone but definitely do it do it all every opportunity that they have for you do it as long as you know as long as you feel comfortable doing it do it you have fun just enjoy yourself a little bit of independence a taste of adulthood it's just a good time you know just give everything your all and i'm rooting for you you got this we got this we can do this so yeah those are all my tips that are helping me get through high school and have helped me get this far and I hope that they help you don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my channel to see more of me and to be notified when I post some more and don't forget to follow my social medias I'll put them down below and I hope you guys have an amazing day and be nice to people because being nice is wonderful it makes you feel good so I hope to see you guys in my next video and thank you so much for watching bye